sulfuric acid yields. Yields what? There's no hydro in front of sulfuric acid, so it's not binary. It's an oxy acid. There's only one reactant, so it's a decomposition reaction. The acid name ends in IC, so the polyatomic ion must end in ATE. So we're looking for sulfate. We write the H for the acid and sulfate after that. Sulfate has a minus 2 charge, which means we're going to need two hydrogens to make our sulfuric acid. So now, sulfuric acid again yields what? Our reaction rules say the decomposition of an oxy acid yields a non-metallic oxide and water. So our non-metallic oxide comes from our polyatomic ion, so it has sulfur and an oxygen, oxide. And you can write the and water parts yourself. We need to know how many sulfurs and oxygens there are in that non-metallic oxide. So we turn back to our reaction rules. The reaction rules say that if the reactant polyatomic ion ends in ATE, we choose the high positive oxidation number for sulfur. Sulfur has several oxidation numbers, negative 2, plus 4, and plus 6. We want the high one, the plus 6. So now we have a plus 6, and oxygen is always minus 2. When we crisscross these two, we end up with S2O6. But we're not done. We can do better. We can reduce this by dividing both of those numbers by 2, and we end up with SO3. So our final answer is that sulfuric acid yields sulfur trioxide and water. If we look at this to balance, we'll see that it happens to already be balanced.